Many of you use retainers, good thinking. So what you're gonna do is go to the project and here in the credits retainer section, you can create new retainers by just clicking request a new retainer. So I could name this, let's say, uh, Furniture June. Because let's say I have a, um, every month I send my client a retainer just for furniture. And I'm gonna say that this is $5,200. I'm gonna save the retainer request. And then I'm taken to the retainer page where I can send it to my client to pay it, okay? And then once I send this and they pay it, um, I'll have this retainer that I can apply to the invoices for this project. I actually, though, already have a retainer. I have a retainer for June 2017. I see that I have $5,000 available for this retainer, and I see that the status of this retainer has been paid. So I can actually apply this to the invoices in this project. So I'm gonna to go to a um, invoice by going to the invoice section. And I see that this invoice is open and I want to apply this retainer to it. So I go to this view, right? And I click add new payment. And then I click on record received payment. Select from the drop down, drop down apply retainer, right? And I see that I have an available retainer amount of $5,000 and I'm going to apply 810 because I wanna pay the full balance. I'm gonna say create payment. So the neat thing is now this invoice has become fully paid and I can go back to that retainer section and one second, it's loading. Here we go, I'm gonna to go to that retainer section and I see that of this $5,000 retainer, I now only have uh, $4,100 left. So now you no longer have to keep track of your retainers. Uh, we, we keep track of that for you. You just have to create the retainer, have the retainer be paid, and then you can apply this retainer easily against the invoices for this project.